Oh, what's going on everyone? My name is Carlos and today we are going to be doing a follow-up video on one of my popular videos about the batteries. If you haven't seen it, I'll give you like a quick synopsis. I found this company on LinkedIn called Voltest and they do testing for EV batteries and they are a business to business, which means they don't sell products to normal people like you and me. They only sell it to like dealerships, repair shops, etc, etc. And basically how they work is that they collect data from each EV. So it's not working for every EV yet but they they test drive each EV they collect data from that and they find a way to get the most pinpoint accurate battery reading you know I make it sound really easy but I'm sure it's a lot more sophisticated than that they make their own software they have an app um, they have their own hardware so everything is literally made by that company and I was very fortunate enough when I reached out you know he wanted the CEO Davida he wanted to interview he was okay with interviewing it and then um, he was okay with showing me a demo and in that demo is said that my state of health for my battery for my Ionic 5 is I believe it was 95%. Now I had a lot of people in the comment section like, well, you know, how do we know that's accurate? Or, you know, I'm sure if you just bought a regular OBD2 port and downloaded a free app, you can get the exact same results, yada, yada. There are just a lot of questions on like how it compares to something you just buy on Amazon, right? So fortunately enough, I have a friend named Christopher, shout out to Christopher. He has a v uh, VPeak, VPeak, I think it's called V-E-P-E-A-K, VPeak. He let me borrow it. So we're gonna put this inside my car. So basically Basically, it goes down under here. So we are going to do that, and then we'll see what the test results say together. This is what it looks like. Um, there you are. Really simple, really easy. All right, so here is the uh, Volt test that we did. And again, it was in a previous video. If you want to watch it, you can. But this was on January 3rd, so state of health. 95% uh, is basically, and this was when I had 60,217 miles. I currently have 63,000 miles, so I have driven uh, 3,000 miles since then. So this is, in a, again, it shows you like the cell health and the imbalance, and it gives you like a rating as far as like how healthy everything is. And this also shows you, you know, uh, your fast charging and how many normal charging, your slow level one, level two charging is. And yeah, I like I was very surprised and amazed and I love this idea. Like I love what Voltest is doing. I just wish they sold to consumers. I would I just wish they sold to customers, right? So let's see what we can do with this thing and compare results. All right, so you wanna take your VPeak and basically see if I can show it to you down here somewhere. Oh, it's over here. All right, I don't know. <laughs> this is a one hand job, so uh, that's what she said. So let me go ahead and stick that in and then there should be like a little blue light i don't know if you see it all right so we're going to go in the car scanner app here essentially we're going to go ahead and connect i already setting up an account stuff like that so we're going to click connect and it should connect to the adapter so we are going to go ahead and go to the dashboard so the first thing it's telling me is that my state of charge is at 65 percent 0.5 that seems accurate um here whoops 65 percent so so it's definitely accurate it's definitely working all right so we have found uh, the state of health. My state of health, which is in the top right corner, is 94.5%. According to David's company, it is at 95%. Now, could I have lost 0.5 from January, I think, what, 3rd until February uh, 2nd? It is possible. I mean, I did do a whole road trip, I, you know, and I fast charged continuously at least like four different times to get to Florida and then four different times to come back to North Carolina. So it is possible that my battery died a little bit, but it's also possible that this might be 0.5 off or or maybe David's company is 0.5 off. I'm not trying to start any wars or like, you know, speak ill of, of his company or anything like that. You know, it seems like it's pretty accurate around 95% is the state of health of my battery. And then on the next page, it actually shows you, so it looks like the number of quick charging, I've done 206 uh, quick charges and then I've done 307 normal charges. Um, let's see, cause I think on his, yeah, so his gives you a percentage. So if you look at the percentage here, says fast charge 39%, slow charge is 61%. So that seems, I mean, I'm not gonna do the math. If somebody wants to do the math to see if that seems pretty accurate, uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'm not a math guy. But yeah, that that's actually pretty interesting. So I've, I've done the DC fast charger 206 times, and I've done the normal J port charger level one, level two, 307 times. So this is pretty good data, to be honest. Oh, and actually here's the cell voltage, I guess. It says, let's see. My average is 3.82, the minimum is 3.82, the maximum is 3.84, 
doesn't that that sounds uh similar from what his was saying oops um oh so his i don't know i guess i guess his gives you more of an accurate chart 3.840 uh while this says oh no i mean i guess that's that's average, so 3.8, 3.2. So yeah, it looks like you can get pretty much all the data that David's company, Voltes, does. All right, so <laughs> I'm actually very surprised on like how accurate those readings are. Now, I'm not gonna go into debate whether or not Voltes is more accurate or if this is more accurate, the OBD is more accurate, um, because I'm, I'm not an engineer. I don't know, you know all the processes of how this works, like down to the finer details. I will just say, since Voltes says, hey, your battery state of health is 65, percent and this obd that's connected to my car right now says hey your battery state of health is 64.5 percent then it seems accurate that my battery's health is going to be somewhere around 65 percent right so and, and the same with the cells like david test said and the cell is at like eight or 3.82 or no uh 3.84 or something like that and then this test says 3.82 we're going to safely assume that my that my car is very healthy, my battery is very healthy, and it's around 85% state of health. This would not be a big deal if manufacturers were pushed by lawmakers to force the fact that we can see the battery state of health in the settings, because that would be so helpful for everyone, for dealerships, for us, for consumers. So I feel like somebody needs to push that, be like, hey, you need to have a setting in, in every EV that shows the state of health. And on top of that, like also just like explain how the battery chemistry is and why you know this number is normal or why is the range normal right but yeah so with all that said hopefully this answered your question because i had a lot of comments that were like you know how does this compare to a normal obd and and you know stuff like that so there you go voltes compared to v peak uh basically and this isn't even v peaks app this is called Sc car scanner i don't even know who it's by let me see who it's by and this is car scanner by stan i'm gonna ruin this name stan stanzilov Savistinov. <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, see if you can see it from here. Uh, there you go. This isn't even like all VPeak. Um, so the VPeak is just the hardware, and then you download that app from um, our friend there. I don't know how I don't know how to pronounce his name, but you know I feel pretty confident with all these results from VPeak and from Voltes. So at the end of the day, knowing your state of health is important for everyone, especially if you're gonna buy a used EV. Right now, the easiest way is just buy one of these VPeaks and download the app and uh, just test it from there. I'm sure CarMax and other used car dealerships are totally okay with that because you're not doing anything wrong. You're just testing the battery which is very important if you're going to purchase a vehicle i'm very very pleased and impressed with the v peak again thank you christopher for letting me borrow this uh, shout out to him so yeah that's the end of the video hopefully this answered some questions about you know if you can get the same or similar results with just a normal obd it seems like you can and with all that said that's all i have for you today i'll catch you guys in the next video peace